So this is a Biocom project. This project uh, started a few years ago when uh, Marc Tessier was uh, traveling around Asia. He went to different countries like India and also Bangladesh where he met uh, the waste concern uh, organizations. This organization uh, together with the Swiss government, IAWAG, started a project on uh, composting uh, organic waste from a municipality to turn that into a compost for farmers. And so when he came to Kathmandu, he saw the same situation with waste laying on the floor and he had the idea to start uh, this project. So a few years later, with uh, new people coming in the team, we are here, we have built this, uh, this plant. This is our sorting area. We collect waste from Kalimati Vegetable Market. Every day we collect uh, around 2000, uh, 1500 to 2000 kg. And once we, we collect, uh, at the moment we collect fresh waste, not mixed waste. So when we bring some waste, we have a bigger part. And that time we just grind here and we make a small piece. And once it is finished, and we just mix with chicken dog, we just mix with sawdust to prepare for pie. Once we mix up all waste together, then we go surrounding nice shape and then we just cover this kind of green leaf. Once we finish the pile and we put uh, this kind of um, plate, a name plate, and it includes start date, end date, and window number. This is also maturing area. This is our small uh, guard house and small uh, side office. This is our information board, and we put our agenda weekly agenda also, a weekly target, and we also put our uh, every worker information. Sometimes me outside uh, field, and sometimes Sabin outside field, yeah. and sometimes maybe driver went to Kalimati, and everybody know where is driver. Driver is Kalimati, yeah. and uh, where is Raju? Raju is a uh, house. He works something. Mm -hmm. And uh, where is Sobin? Sobin is in the market. And every information we put here. Yeah, a security house, uh, room, and people uh, sitting here, and people also sleeping uh, night here, and also they have a small kitchen. All the time, 24 hours, he will be here, and then uh, he will take care of our whole plant. Uh, this is a trending park. This is our uh, final product and uh, it has uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium including all nutrients and normally we use this uh, fertilizer uh, for vegetable uh, cucumber, uh, tomato and we use a surrounding uh, root part and this helps to make complete nutrient for plant. This is a cucumber plant. And normally, cucumber, uh, cucumber plant uh, it needs major nutrient: nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. And uh, when we use compost, uh, we can uh, get all nutrient. We don't need uh, to put chemical urea. We don't need to put chemical DAP. We don't need to put chemical potassium. Yeah, we have a 24 window. All window, uh, they have a in between. They have a small open drain. All drain. And it comes directly to this is tank. It, is it just we collect this lichet inside this tank, and again we take this lichet to pour it for compost. Uh, compost.
this is a urine collection tank there is a toilet and there is a pipe and this urine directly come to this tank and we collect here and until 14 days we put here and after 14 days and we mix water and we use tomato. as a fertilizer tomato and some cow's flour so what we are doing today it's uh, what we call the proof of concept the idea was to make sure that we can collect waste every day that we can make compost high quality compost that farmers will like that we can have workers every day coming here and happy to work here and after five months we can say that we have succeeded today we have a system that uh, people come and uh, are really impressed by what we did so now we are confident that we can move to phase two. Phase two will be upscaling the current system. Today we treat about three to five to four tons uh, organic waste a day. And now we are going to move to 20 tons. And maybe in a few years we will be moving to 100 tons if we are lucky. Thank you very much to all the team that have done uh, this work. Thanks again to our sponsor, HVC for doing this, uh, for supporting us, because without them, we will not be able today to show this uh, facility. And thanks, of course, to all the Nepali team that have done a fantastic job.